हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम हार्दिक पटेल वेलकम बैक टू जंगो टू डेल इन लास्ट वीडियो वी टॉक्ट अबाउट जंगो सिग्नल्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू राइट फ्यू व्यूज आई थिंक वन व्यू ओनली एंड वी विल क्रिएट टेम्पलेट आल्सो सो वी विल अंडरस्टैंड जंगो टेम्पलेट हाउ वर्क्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अंडरस्टैंडिंग फर्स्ट हाउ जंगो टेम्पलेट्स वर्क राइट सो फॉर कन्फिगरिंग जंगो टेम्पलेट यू नीड टू डिसाइड विच जंगो template engine you want to use which template engine you want to use i think uh, we have very famous two one is django template itself which django provides and second is jinja template right so if you know django uh, jinja template better than django template then you should use that just need to change this backend otherwise all these variables uh, parameters are useful for the both the engines so let's understand this other parameters as well so options is for adding more options to particular uh, templates parameters and if you don't provide it's okay but this deals and app deals so first of all this is preference one first it will look for this app deals whenever you try to render any html from django view it will look at this first app deals is true then it will look into all the apps and then it will find like templates folder inside the apps app and if the uh, file name which we have asked for which we are rendering if it is available there then it will be rendered otherwise it will give us error that a template not found okay and if it is false then it will look for deals inside this list we need to provide the paths of all the templates folder let's say for example we have created somewhere a uh, template folder which is not inside the app which is available in install apps let's say for example pool and employee we have added here right but this ems which is main app which we haven't included in install apps so if we create folder templates inside this ems folder that will not be found by this parameter if it is true but what i am suggesting here you create only one template folder and you manage all the templates here itself so because you are not if you are uh, building an application which is modularized right and you want to uh, make modules detachable then that's fine you can use uh, app this true and you can create templates uh, app wise but if you are building a project which is uh, not uh, going to be used or not uh, distributed right you don't want modularized templates only so for that purpose also you can use this you just need to like this uh, what is we have implemented os imported right and base directory okay so os dot path dot join and then what is that base directory right and then comma this base directory means let me see first how it works so it takes setting store py where setting store py is available inside this ems folder right and its absolute path and then directory name so what is directory name ems and its directory name that is this one outside this employee management system right so we need to give two paths here Where is that? Here it is. Okay, and then EMS comma templates. Okay, so and comma. So that's how you can uh, provide the path name where templates are available. So inside the templates, let's create one. Okay, uh, one more thing is that uh, here is one more variable that is loaders, where you can provide the list of tuple. okay and there are few loaders are available we will search for them uh, in internet and we will put that also i will explain if we will require okay so let's quickly uh, create one new base dot py in that actually uh, we will uh, put very basic things 
sorry it's py file we need to rename that and html okay now let's create completely and employee management system okay then link if you have any spreadsheet then what you can do like this this is one of another syntax which is useful uh, for uh, loading the statics okay let's for example you have you want to include any js or you want to include any css then that's how you can use static it's a template tag okay and you need to pass the parameter of uh, path of static folder static file so we let's create one uh, in again i will create the static folder inside this ems this is main app okay so new folder then static inside there i am again creating one folder that is css and inside that i will create one file that is custom.css okay and okay so now we have path available right so we don't need to uh, give the static name because that is a static url uh, path of that we will also uh, look at that similar to the templates uh, we need to also uh, configure this static folder as well okay so we will configure that like this here few more variables we need to use okay so here uh, what we need to do css and then custom.css okay so this is uh, this will automatically linked because this is jumbo templates works and to load this static there is one more uh, this tag actually we need to import uh, import how we can do how we can load this template tags load is another tag to and this is inbuilt tag to load other tags okay so load static all right so this is head and let's come body inside that i will uh, create h1 employee management system instead of that what i will do here uh, okay that's enough and uh, i will create one block so this is based on html which is just you can say a uh, bootstrap and if you have worked on any angular app we are doing that right header footer we create and content part we just make remain remaining and that can be extended by other uh, templates so the same thing uh, we are going to do here like i will create one block here a uh, blank block like block and then content and same thing here and block content so same uh, this uh, block can be extended or uh, we can fill this block by extending this based on html from other html's so let's do that also so for polls uh, if you want if you want to create templates for polls application then just do like this this is just format which i wanted to uh, follow so i am also suggesting that you also do the same thing okay index.html okay and there is one tag to extend any html like extends and then base dot html so now we have extended now this whenever we call this index html this base dot html will be called automatically and uh, now what we need to do we need to just fill this right so like write like this and you can write some statement here h2 and these these are all pools available. okay so that's how you can create the templates now index customer is ready uh, for poll application now let's quickly create one poll okay so again uh, how can we do this so we need to create a path for polls okay polls and then i need to include the urls of poll application include
like this you need to just include this include used for uh, appending this url as a prefix for polls urls now whenever you uh, fire any url which is starting from polls polls slash and then anything is uh, you appending you are appending in the url that will be looked up in this uh, polls url poll application urls so let's look at that is it created so there is no urls available right so what we need to do we can just create one file here that is urls.py okay and just copy this thing for faster admin is not required right so remove this and remove this as well now even include is also not required because we are not going to include anymore now we just need to be we are just creating the paths routes for this so if you like a polls and then slash and there is there is nothing you want to provide and you want all the polls is listed on the page then just keep blank and just provide the view okay so you need to import the view first so from poll dot views import index okay and index is a method this is the second argument and name is equal to pools pools list okay so let's do underscore underscore okay so one pass is created so whenever you call this uh, just blank pools then slash and then blank then it will look for this index method which we need to create in this okay so here like this index and then request will be the default argument for any view okay and what we need to you do is just render function we need to use return render and there are three arguments we need to pass look at this uh, definition you can see here right inside this render request then second argument is template name and third argument is context so context means what you can provide any more variables inside there like context and blank dictionary okay and inside that let me do that context and i will add something or uh, title is equal to quotes okay and request comma what is our uh, html so you can give like this polls slash index dot html okay and last argument is context okay so this is simple syntax uh, to create any view now uh, let me use this context in html so you will understand better so what is the use of this context okay so so here i write polls statically but instead of that what i will do i will do like this just title because we pass that right in view title okay so everything is ready i guess so let's run this So we have look at this. We have two URLs: admin slash and poll slash. So let me write this poll slash. Static is not registered tag library. Must be one of admin list, admin modified, admin static, and this. So what's the problem in this? Yes, so we haven't configured the static directory in settings.py, right? So let's do that. Static URL is there now. Static 
root is equal to you know give like this static only and then static sorry and if you want to understand just click on this and look at this what are the variables you can set right see configure static files so static ul is there just like this and we can load this same way okay we i found out the error here don't pass this single quote okay let's run again yeah here it is so employee management system it's it came from based html right and then this block content was blank but what we did we just extended this based html from index to html and we have uh, written in header to that is this are all and then we used variable title right so that title variable comes from the view so look at this view also here it is context right if i comment this okay and if i save this look at this server is started if i will refresh this the title was not there right so it doesn't give an error because the title variable is not available it will just check for that if it is available then it will render otherwise it will ignore that variable similar to angular js right so that's how you can use context in the templates in next video we will look forward uh, to more uh, detailed uh, view with uh, database values like we will call for a list of questions available in our models in database and then we will render those questions in this pools index page and then we will also create a question detail page and then there are few more pages we are going to create in this project okay so i am not lengthening uh, long uh, making longer this video so that's it from this video so just keep trying and also you try yourself to create this project you will understand better and if you, if you find any issue while creating your project just uh, post that question or post the query in comment section so thank you for watching